Welcome everyone to another installment of our autocross safety series videos. In the first video we showed you what a tech inspection was like. In this one we're going to go over worker assignments, specifically how to work a corner station. Alright guys, according to Doug Gill of the SCCA, there's no official working rules for corner people. So we're going to go off the guidelines off the Susquehanna region's website. Your safety is top priority. Always keep your eyes out for cars coming your way. The safety of the other workers on course is second priority. Keep your friends safe. The safety of any spectators is your third priority. Sometimes people wander on course or stand somewhere dangerous. Stop cars if you need to until the spectators can be moved to somewhere safe. The cars on course can sometimes be a danger to their drivers or other cars on course. Be especially wary of novice drivers on their first run. They can sometimes wander off course and head for other cars. Stop cars that are lost or point them to a safe course exit. And remember, shagging cones is the last and least important duty when you are working a corner station. Rule number one, always stand up, never sit down. Close enough. Rule number two, if you see a cone knocked down, Run for it. Don't walk. If you can't get to the cone, or there are a bunch of them, do not try to be a hero or risk your life. Have the radio worker call in and the starter can hold the next car. If the second car is on track, they can always get a rerun if the cones are down. Radio in right away if you cannot get the cones. Rule number four, always face the course. Know where the cars are coming from and know your area. Only if you're running should your back be to the corner station. If you are the red flag holder, always keep it at the ready in your hand. Don't roll it up. Keep it bunched up in your hand. If you are told to wave the red flag, wave it around vigorously. It should unfurl itself as you do this. Remember, the driver is very focused on the course. You need to make the flag stand out for him. You might need to even step towards the course a little more to get attention. Alright guys, we're done with our very cheesy autocross safety video. I hope you liked it. I hope it maybe helped someone out. Uh, the only reason I wanted to do this is just because I've seen it time and time again. People are afraid to wave a flag because they think people get pissed about a rerun. Just think of the alternative. A rerun's always better than an accident or worse. So. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully it helped a couple people out. Thanks to Andrew and Chelsea for doing this against their will. Um, hope to see you at the first autocross. Thanks for watching, guys.